community. I want us to think of ourselves as one community. I want us all to be treated as part of one community. And that's really important. And that means that we have to respect differences. So in democracy, that's what we're going to hear about is that it's OK. Everyone makes their own mind up. Everyone votes their own way. And everyone is right. It's just at the end, when the tally comes in, somebody will get the office and somebody won't. But nobody was wrong that went and voted. So again, uh, I'm just pleased to be here. I'm excited about the evolution of change to see how much the process has grown, how broad we've gotten. And uh, I really commend everybody at YPAC for their efforts and for their participation in democracy. It's key to everything. It's what makes our community great. So thank you. I'm glad everybody's here. And I know we're going to hear a lot of great information from some great speakers. Thank you very much. Please welcome our next speaker, the Eternal Vice President of YPAC, Brother Nasser Ardiyashi. Thank you. Good evening. Um, just to add to what Brother Zia had mentioned in regards to some of the acknowledging of some of our VIPs and some guests, I wanted to acknowledge some people. Um, we got Judge Linda Pierce, Lynn Pierce, Magistrate Judge Gray <laughs> Gardner, Dear Moon Judge Bill Hopkins, Councilwoman Nancy Hubbard, Councilwoman Suzanne Serini, Walid Dawood, Care, Michigan, Asad Tabasho, Senator Emma Clark Bowman, Derek Pollard, Honorary Council Abdul Hakim Asada, Rashida Clay, State Rep, and Arab Mokin Salman. Mayor, Mayor Karen Majowski for Hamtramck. Councilman Tom Berry. Carl Myers, Michigan Republican Party. Before I begin my speech, on behalf and about the Yemeni American Public Affairs Council, I would like to take a moment to recognize key individuals who are key partners and very instrumental in really addressing the needs of our community. In turn, making our society a better place. These individuals and their respected organizations and tensions are pure and given back to the community for no other reason than filling the void and doing their part in the community. They don't get paid for their hard work. They don't seek recognition. At the same time, they don't want to be recognized. Instead, they are seeking to better the lives of those who need it. From rec recreational activities, community outreach, educating those inside and outside the community, and advocating on behalf of those who have no one to speak for them. If you can please show a sign of appreciation with a round of applause to the following people for their hard work and dedication to make our neighborhood and society a better place. From CRSD Concerned Resident of South Dearborn, Khalid Abdullah and Jamal Jami, from AMS, American Muslim Society, Mahdi Ali and Muhammad al Hajjali, Um Ahmad from for aspiring and leading our sisters within the community. Sheikh Saleh al Jahim from Imam Islamic Complex in Detroit and Tramic, Nabil Ba Alwan from the new multi million dollar Dearborn Community Center and Peace Mosque on Schaefer, William Ali for his hard work with the youth of the South End, Advisory Chair Dr. Mustafa Hash and the cardiologist who hasn't forgotten his roots by generously supporting youth activities, Muhammad Nasser for his soccer youth activities from MISA, Arif al Midhiji for his community activism. Community leaders who also came all the way from cities of cold water and Flint to be here with us today. As you are aware, YPAC, the political committee, has been very instrumental in putting the community's interests in its strategic voting block in the Michigan political arena. Our community of Yemeni origin has a rich and historic presence in American society. 
The community is considered to be one of the fastest growing voter block in Michigan. Our community is well known for its integrity, law-abiding citizens, hospitality, and work ethic. We are keeping with our traditions and assimilating the American values and system. Our beliefs and ways are based on the thinking of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, the principal author of the Declaration of Independence, and one of the most influential founding fathers for his promotion of the ideas of republicanism in the United States. In one of his quotes in his second inaugural in 1805, he states, quote, our wish is that the public efforts may be directed honestly to the public good, that peace be cultivated, civil and religious liberty unassailed, and order preserved, equality of rights maintained, and the state of property, equal or unequal, which results to every man from his own industry or that of his fathers." Unquote. While being in the midst of the political arena, we found ourselves needing to do more non-political activities for the betterment of society and the community. What are some of the council's activities, you might ask? I'll briefly highlight some, and the video you will see in a little while will attest to the rest. First, emphasizing higher education by visiting middle and high schools in Detroit, near one half China. Holding annual career day events and encouraging the youth to reach high by bringing role models from within the community to encourage and explain the importance of higher education. Supporting local youth activities, graduation ceremonies and sport activities. Working on environmental concerns to ensure residents have the quality of life they deserve. Educating and being the mouthpiece of resident concerns ranging from resident issues to civil rights and immigration complaints. Advocating for those in need on the process. These activities are spearheaded under the Yemeni American Public Affairs Council. Once again, it is a non-profit, non-political organization providing essential needs to make our society a better place for all. Society as a whole is the key phrase here because we must be and think as one as the Honorable Mayor just mentioned. We want if we want to be prosperous in this day and age. You see, the task is daunting. There are no paid employees, no fame, or designated funding source. All the work and funding is provided by our busy board members, advisors, members, and partners. And the most gratifying aspect of this is knowing and accepting the moral obligation on the basis of giving back to society. In this day and age, we're in the middle of economic downturn, financial crisis, low morale, unethical behaviors, and two prolonged wars. It is these times that leaders define themselves by volunteers stepping into the forefront to identify the true reasons of these crises and to collectively bring others to strategy, to strategize in place to resolve them. They must base their decisions by thinking of the citizens of our society. They must think of those who don't have, don't have a voice, that don't have power or have special interests to represent them. One last quote from Thomas Jefferson. The excellence of every government is its adaptation to the state of those to be governed by it. Thomas Jefferson, 1816. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the program. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next. We're going to show the video. But first, I'm going to speak a little bit about the plan. The white man 